The altars and shrines in our homes are the most sacred place. Let's always treat them that way. So I had a dream last night that I went to bed first off thinking about looking at the altars and shrines I have in my home. So I went to bed with that in my mind and I had a dream that at standing at those altars and my altars were five cloaked men with hoods up over them with their backs turned to me. And I was thinking about the sacredness of the altars and the shrines and one turned to me with, gra with uh, grains or plants of some kind in his hand. And he said, they are sacred. It's where we commune with the gods. And he turned and there was a fire on the altar and he dropped the offering in. And it had me thinking about it and I woke up about how sacred our altars and shrines are, that that is where we do rituals to commune with the gods in the formal matter. You can pray to the gods without a ritual, altar, or shrine, but when you have one set up, it is a specific thing to help us pray and give thanks and offerings to the gods. It's very important. So with that said, we always should always take care of it, always clean it, not every day, but maybe monthly or at least a year, every year. I like to at least take an air duster, like a canned air and spray the statues down to clean them. Maybe taking off the altar cloths and running them through the washing machine or hand washing them, depending what they're made out of. Stuff like that. Not leaving sacrifices and offerings on the altar too long. And also not using the altar as a catch-all. To put your keys while you go get your shoes or put your phone down or let your kid put your toy, their toys on there. Stuff like that. Treating it with respect because it is a sacred and, and a better, for life or a better term, a holy place. Think of it kind of like in the ancient days, how they had temples with statues that they would uh, use for offerings and prayers. Our altars and our shrines that we have in our homes are many temples. I mean, especially if you have like statues and stuff on them. So just always paying respect to that. And let's always remember that. I've been guilty in, of um, wanting to. I've also been really um, apprehensive about putting stuff on altars. Like, I get nervous. And when people come over and they want to put their, like, drinking glass on it and stuff like that, I have to stop them and tell them that just to respect it, out of respect for me, to put their stuff somewhere else. So yeah, because it has to be tra treated sacredly and respectfully. Just a thought for today because of that dream I had. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.